Hi, I'm Sina, your favorite V toddler, and each episode I talk about or do whatever you say in the comments. And in this episode, since diaper videos seem to be very popular these days, uh, I will talk about how to make a really thick disposable diaper. While playing Black Desert Online, of course. And first of all, let's just uh, take this quest. Oh, wait a second, somewhere here. Oh, it's this kind of gathering of uh, important people. Or I guess people that think they're important. And then start, let's start with kind of, wait a second, I have no empty slot, that is really annoying. I say this every time, I should probably kind of clean up my inventory. But, uh, I don't have time for that, it kind of works out reasonably well. Search for something something, where is that? That seems to be a bit, uh, are you... I, are you sure? Uh, I mean, is that, like, can I teleport or something? Uh, I mean, please tell me I can teleport. Mm. Is there a way to teleport in this game? Uh, probably not. But, uh, I don't, like, uh, that's, that's a long distance. But I guess that, that will give me some time to kind of concentrate on, uh, what I'm about to say. And really fast, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so basically, how to make a really thick disposable diaper. Um, first of all, uh, what is even the problem with, like, you know, making thick disposable diapers? First of all, they're not really being sold. Uh, they're just selling disposable diapers, and they're reasonably thin because they kind of are supposed to be worn uh, beneath clothing and stuff. Um, so, in general, if you just take a plain uh, disposable diaper it is you know it's getting thicker as you kind of pee in it but it's like you know it's just you know limited in in size and you can still close your legs pretty well and yeah so the question is how can you make that thing thicker well there's like these kind of uh, inserts that you can uh, you know they're disposable ones I suppose just some kind of absorbent pads that you can put in your diaper you can kind of stack them I suppose and that will create a thicker diaper, but there's one problem with that. The higher you kind of stack these, uh, you know, inserts, the, you know, higher the chance that the leak guards on the side will kind of like no longer like protect any kind of leaks uh, from getting out. So you kind of have to, you know, if you kind of put in one pad, that's kind of like, okay. But if you kind of start to stack them, that's kind of removing your skin from the leak guard and it kind of, you know, the chance that something will leak is, you know, increasing. And basically it's like, how many ways are there to, for a diaper to leak? Well, I would say there's like two ways, two main ways for a diaper to leak. First of all, um, they could be just being, like the diaper could be flooded and just too much liquid at the same time. So they cannot absorb it uh, quickly enough. Or also, if the diaper is already like saturated, uh, just the liquid won't be absorbed anymore, and that's why it's kind of like you know, creating a puddle. Uh, and uh, at some point, when you sit down or something and squeeze everything, it will just get, you know, I guess blown out uh, through the sides and through the leak guards. And that's pretty much one way. Another way uh, would be something like you kind of in a very weird position. You're kind of making a headstand and. Uh, that kind of is obviously not that great because, <laughs> uh, you know, at the top, your diaper is not really that tight and there's usually, especially if you kind of pull your stomach back, and there's usually uh, plenty of gaps where uh, liquid can come out. So, that, but also like when you're sleeping on the side during the night, it also could be leaking. It really depends because kind of like the liquid is directly on the leak guard pretty much and there's a good chance that it will actually leak. So these are kind of like the possibilities for a diaper to leak. And the question now is how can we kind of make this, how can we make it thicker while not really ruining the only purpose you can really have or the only purpose for this diaper, which would be to kind of, you know, soak up uh, accidents pretty much. And I would say, um, I would say to leave to leave the diaper alone and do not put any inserts in it. And I would suggest to do the following. Basically, you take your diaper, 
and I guess before you put it on, you take your diaper and you take some kind of a scissor or something, a knife or something uh, sharp, and you kind of like slice the diaper open in the middle on the back side where like the plastic backing or the cloth backing is that's like waterproof. You kind of slice this whole thing open and you know mainly like the the middle part um, but you know a bit of the front and the back should also be included and you it will kind of reveal this absorbent material um, but first and foremost you're kind of breaking the waterproof layer and that's exactly what you want because what we're going to do now is we're going to put another diaper on top of that one so the, the slice open diaper is the one you're going to be wearing close on your skin and then you're kind of putting another diaper on top which can be one that's a size bigger or you know can be just a the same size um, at some point you should probably use some that have like a bigger size because it's kind of like it's like not covering everything properly anymore and the bigger diapers are also of course uh, you know they're, they're thicker in a sense so basically you're putting another diaper on top of this and what will happen is if the diaper kind of like starts uh, you know, if the diaper inside is saturated and it kind of can't absorb the liquid anymore, it will just seep through the, uh, I guess it's like, is it cotton? I don't know. It, this absorbent wicking material that's uh, in the diaper, uh, and that's not the super, super absorber, it will basically just pass the liquid through the no longer waterproof layer into the outer diaper. And that way the outer diaper will basically kind of soak up the stuff soak up all uh you know liquid that you kind of you know uh pee out i suppose uh and of course there's going to be some decrease in uh efficiency so if the if the inner diaper is already pretty saturated um like it won't absorb stuff as quickly but if the wicking material is kind of touching the outer the outer diaper as well i think it will kind of wick through it slowly so in general, um, just make sure that the inner diaper and the outer diaper and like the stuff uh, material has like contact with uh, the absorbent material. So I guess if you, I, I think you know what I mean. Um, so in in that case, you have two diapers on top, and of course, uh, one thing you could do now is you could insert these like disposable uh, stuffers. But in the like between these two diapers, because then there's not really the risk of the leak guard, you know, kind of like getting further away from your body. And in general, since like you have only uh, like, cut open a diaper in the middle, like the whole liquid will kind of come out at one, like in the middle in the center place. And that's why pretty much it doesn't really matter if the leak guards are not really that. Um, you know, I guess if they're kind of a bit further away from the um, outside, from the outer diaper, because again, the liquid is kind of like always coming from the middle. And of course, you can repeat this and slice open the, the outer diaper now uh, as well and just put another diaper on top. And I just, that was a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> Only took like eight minutes to get here. <laughs> Yeah, but basically you can stack as many divers as you want. Uh, however, at some point you really need to increase the size because at the uh, like waist it will get too tight to close them properly. And of course, of course, they will be kind of, you know, it's good if they kind of still touch your skin in some sense. If they're just like, you know, building, it's just building, uh, you know, the front part. It's not really that safe, I would say. Uh, but yeah, of course, one thing that really helps if kind of you don't really hold it in and uh, you just pee whenever you need to pee because that will really help if you don't like flood your diaper like in one go and you distribute it it will certainly be a lot better um, you don't run the risk of really overwhelming the diaper package capacity I guess what what I was supposed to do Oh no, I'm supposed to... Wait, what? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm supposed to talk to... Uh, to talk to this rock with... 
with a plant. Or what? Pardon me. But yeah, that's pretty much um, how I would do it. You can put in stuffers in between the diapers if you want to. Uh, I guess it's one way to kind of make it thicker m more easily. Um, and of course, uh, the wetter your, your your diaper package becomes, uh, the the thicker it will be. And uh, in that case, at some point, I I'm pretty sure you won't be able to close your legs uh, if you kind of put three diapers on top of each other. And uh, of course, you know, you can kind of like do as many as you want. Um, the only thing I would do, like, you know, as a precaution is make sure you use some, you know, diaper rash cream and uh, apply it uh, generously because, of course, uh, if, you, if you're trying to kind of not waste all of these diapers, it's going to take a very long time for all of these diapers to be fully saturated. So you probably want to have some, uh, you know, some layer, some protective layer between your skin and the wet diaper. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think we need to go somewhere. And I guess that's also um, a good. That's also good. It's also a good time to really um, uh, end the episode because for the first time I finished an episode in a reasonable amount of time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you make a really thick diaper. Uh, what is happening? Shouldn't I just follow this path? Apparently not. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much how you. Um, make a really thick diaper package and um, yeah uh, try it out and see um, how it goes and you know write your experience in the comments and also suggest some more diaper related topics that you want to see uh, you know being covered on this channel and I'll see you in the next episode bye